everybody. Welcome to Miss ZTV. I am super excited to share one of my favorite stories with you. It's called After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again by Dan Santat. I'm wondering if anybody recognizes the main character on the cover of our book. If you said Humpty Dumpty, way to go. This is Humpty Dumpty and you might be familiar with him from a famous nursery rhyme called Humpty Dumpty. But if you're not, don't worry. I'm gonna play it for you right now. Here we go. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Poor Humpty Dumpty, he fell off the wall and broke and could not be repaired. Well, I always wondered what happened to him after that, and this is the story of just that. But before we get started, I'm going to need a helper today. I am gonna need a scribe. Does anybody remember what a scribe is from the last episode? You're right, a scribe is the person who writes. So I'm gonna call on my friend, Mr. Elephant and see if he'll be willing to do, um, to be my scribe today. Elephant! Oh, 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 guys, Elephant's feeling a little shy again today. So I'm gonna need your help to call him. At the count of three, let's encourage Mr. Elephant to come out by saying, come out, elephant. Ready? One, two, three. Come out, elephant! Oh, you guys, it's working. Here he comes. Hi, Mr. Elephant. It's so good to have you back on the Missy TV show. Welcome. I was wondering, would you be willing to be my scribe today? Oh, 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 elephant, it's okay. You don't know what the word scribe means? Don't worry. My friends are, my friends know and they're gonna tell you. So friends out there, can you remind um, my friend, Mr. Elephant, what a scribe is? He's all ears. Thank you so much. If you said a scribe is the person who does the writing, you got it. So would you be willing to do the writing for me today? All right, perfect. So I have a marker for you and we're gonna look for some vocabulary words in the text. We're gonna write them on a piece of paper and we're gonna hide them in some eggs. Stay tuned, after the story, we're gonna go through those eggs and review the vocabulary. So let's jump right into our story after the fall. My name is Humpty Dumpty. This was my favorite spot high up on the wall. I know it's an odd place for an egg to be, but I loved being close to the birds. Then one day I fell. I'm sort of famous for that part. Folks called it the Great Fall, which sounds a little grand. It was just an accident, but it changed my life. So poor Mr. Egg had a great fall, but it's because he was sitting in an odd place. He says, I know it's an odd place for an egg to be. And I'm wondering about that word odd. Hmm, do we usually find eggs on the top of walls? No, that is a strange place for an egg to be. So I can make a smart guess that the word odd, which we can see right here in the text, means strange or unusual or not normal. So Mr. Elephant, are you ready to do some writing? Perfect. We are. I would like for you to write the word odd. And we're gonna hide that in an egg and hunt for it after our story. So the word is odd. O D D. Very nice. It means strange or unusual or not normal. 
Let's go ahead and hide this in one of our eggs so we can play a fun vocabulary game at the end of the story. Okay, let's continue with our book. Fortunately, all the king's men managed to put me back together. So in this version of Humpty Dumpty, something different happened. He was able to be repaired, at least his shell. I kind of like this version better. So they put him back together again and he says, well, most of me. There were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. Hmm. I wonder what Humpty Dumpty means by there were some parts that couldn't be healed with bandages and glue. Well, I'm noticing Humpty Dumpty is sleeping in kind of an odd place. That's not normal. It looks like normally he sleeps in his bunk bed. The floor is an odd place or a strange or unusual place for him to be sleeping. I wonder why he's sleeping down there. If you said it's because he's afraid to go up high now because he fell, you're right. So I think the part of him that's broken, it's not his body. They fixed that up with bandages and tape. It's his confidence. He doesn't feel comfortable climbing up high anymore. After that day, I became afraid of heights. I was so scared that it kept me from enjoying some of my favorite things. So what is he not enjoying right now? Looks like he's too scared to climb up high and get his favorite cereal at the grocery store now. And he's settling for some cereal he doesn't even really like. I walked past the wall every day and I would think about climbing that ladder again. I really miss the birds and being high up above the city, but I could never do it because I knew that accidents can happen. So yeah, I think his confidence is broken right now. He's afraid to go up high and do his favorite things because he fell. I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground. It wasn't the same, but it was better than nothing. Then one day, an idea flew by. I wonder what gave him an idea. Let's look for some clues in the illustration. Looks like Humpty Dumpty is looking up at a paper airplane. So maybe his idea has something to do with a paper airplane. Before we turn the page, there's a word in here I'm wondering about. The word is eventually. He says, I eventually settled for watching the birds from the ground eventually. Well, he's been going around for a long time not doing the things he likes to do. And finally, he decided that he could watch the birds from the ground. So I think the word eventually means after some time has gone by or finally. Let's add that word to our egg list. Are you ready, Mr. Elephant? Here he comes. He's ready with his marker and you're gonna write the word eventually, which means after some time or finally. E, V, E, N, T, U, A, L, L, Y. Eventually. Beautiful job, Elephant. Thank you so much for, for being my scribe. We're gonna add this to our egg collection. and continue. Making planes was harder than I thought. It was easy to get cuts and scratches, but day after day, I kept trying and trying. So 
So it looks like even though this is really hard, Mr. Humpty Dumpty is not giving up. Even though he's getting cuts and scratches, and it looks like a lot of his attempts are not what he wants them to be, but he keeps trying and trying and trying. And when you try and try and try and you don't give up, that word is persistent. So Humpty Dumpty is being very persistent right now. He's not giving up. We're gonna add that word to our list. Are you ready, my scribe? Okay, let's write the word persistent, which means you keep trying and trying and trying and you don't give up. Persistent. P E R S I S T E and T. Persistent. Okay, so let's see if all of Humpty Dumpty's persistence pays off. <gasps> Until I got it just right. Looks like his persistence did pay off. He didn't get up, give up and he came up with the most beautiful paper bird you could imagine. My plane was perfect. I, it flew like nothing could stop it. I hadn't felt that happy in a long time. It wasn't the same as being up in the sky with the birds, but it was close enough. Unfortunately, accidents happen. Oh, look at that face. What do you think just happened? I think Humpty Dumpty has a dilemma or a problem right now. What do you think the problem is? Let's make a smart guess. Ooh, it looks like something bad happened to his bird. They always do. I see his bird going up, 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 and maybe over the wall or landing on top of the wall. This is gonna be a problem. I almost walked away again, but then I thought about all the time I'd spent working on my plane and all the other things I had missed. I decided I was going to climb that wall. But the higher I got, the more nervous I felt. I didn't want to admit it. I was terrified. Hmm, I'm wondering about that word terrified. What do you think that word terrified means? It looks like He's climbing up high, even though he's really afraid of heights and the higher he gets, the more scared he gets. So we can make a smart guess that that word terrified means really, really scared. Let's add it to our list. Ready, scribe? All right, we're gonna write the word terrified. T-E-R-R-I-F-I-E-D. Terrified means really, really, really super scared. Let's add this to our egg collection. Terrified. And continue. Here we go. I didn't look up, I didn't look down, I just kept climbing one step at a time. I think we learned a word about this. He's not giving up. 
He just keeps on trying, even though he's scared and he's afraid he can't do it. Remember what that word is? The word is persistent. He's being persistent. He's not giving up. And it looks like that persistence paid off. He made it. I was no longer afraid. Looks like he conquered his fear because of his persistence, because he never gave up. Maybe now you won't think of me as that egg who was famous for falling. Hopefully you'll remember me as the egg who got back up. Oh, look at this. His shell is cracking. It says crack, crack. And look at this illustration. Something's coming out from the cracks. What are those things? They look like feathers. And what animal do we know has feathers and hatches out of an egg? A bird. Humpty Dumpty hatched into a bird. Looks like he was a baby bird the whole time and just didn't know it. No wonder he loved to watch the birds. And he learned how to fly. There go his pants and his shirt. He doesn't need him anymore. He's a bird. So thanks to Humpty Dumpty's persistence, he found out who he really was a bird the whole time. All right, that was a fabulous story. I am super excited to review our new vocabulary words that we collected in our eggs. So let's open the first one, shall we? Here we go. I got a purple one here and I'm pulling out the word and the word is terrified. Do you remember the part in the story when Humpty Dumpty was climbing the wall and he was nervous and then he was getting more and more and more scared until he was terrified. The word terrified means really, really, really scared. Nice work. All right, let's open another one. Here we go. Ready? Got a blue one here. And the word is eventually, eventually. So, Humpty Dumpty was going around um, not doing his favorite things for a long time because he was so scared of heights until one day he got an idea and, and he said, eventually I had an idea. So the word eventually means after some time has passed or finally, eventually. Eventually we're all gonna go back to school once we have gotten the virus under control and everybody's safe to go back into the world. So eventually, we're gonna go back to school after some time. All right, we've got another one here. Let's open our last egg. All right, we've got a green one and the word is, who can read that word? O-D-D, -D. odd. The word is odd. And we found this word at the beginning of the story when um, Humpty Dumpty was telling us where he liked to sit in a very odd or unusual or strange place, which was on top of the wall. So we learned that the word odd means not normal or unusual or weird or different or, or not, not normal, odd. All right, everybody, thank you so much for sharing um, one of my favorite stories today, After the Fall, How Humpty Dumpty Got Back Up Again. And I will see you on the next episode of Ms. ZT. Oh, 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 I almost forgot again. Mr. Elephant is dying to say goodbye to you guys. Mr. Elephant, and I should have thanked you. You were a fabulous scribe today. Thank you so much for your help. 
And you want to say goodbye to the kids? All right, here he comes. He's going to give you a big kiss. Mwah! Elephant and I love you, and we'll see you on the next episode of Missy TV.